Rock Metal Podcast, episode 97 with Scars of Solitude. All right, let's rock and roll. So, Rock Metal Nation, what is up? This is John from the Rock Metal Podcast. That's exactly you just heard was Enemy by Scars of Solitude, who I've got on the show with me right now. They're a melodic metal band from Finland, and we're going to be listening to that song as well as one other while finding out more information about the band. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. All right, let's go listen back to that track, Enemy. I'm yeah. 
All right, come back from Enemy. Big, massive question for you guys. Actually, really cool track. Really big track to open up the show with. Uh, what's the story or inspiration behind Enemy? It was given birth at our rehearsal place. I was jamming with our drummer, Nikki, and actually I was playing drums and he was playing guitar and he kind of came up with the main riff and then I was like, give me the guitar. We have a song here and then it just like came up together like pretty easily. Yeah. What brought about the name of the track? It's like your your own worst enemy. That's pretty much the story there. Okay, cool. Now you mentioned uh, that the it was like at a rehearsal space. You were jamming with your drummer Nikki and and just brought the whole thing together. Uh, is yeah. that fairly unique to the writing process, or was there you know anything uh, with regard to Enemy that was different from uh, the other tracks you guys do? It's maybe a little different nowadays, but it used to be like the way we wrote all our songs like a while ago, but it, it was a little weird now because nowadays we, uh, I mean, I write most of the stuff like home and like program drums and send the files and then we rehearse the thing. But like I usually come up with the riffs at home, but this time it was like old fashioned way at the rehearsal place and that was pretty cool. Yeah. Let's go listen to the next track, Live to Regret.
All right, coming back from Live to Regret, serious, somber song title. What's the story or inspiration behind Live to Regret? Well, can you classy say something? It's like maybe like your song. <laughs> I don't know if you can really call call that songwriting process uh, inspiration. I just started to play play with acoustic guitar, sitting on my couch watching TV, and then the riffs just popped out. And that's pretty much how the music music was formed for that track. And there are some pieces of one old bands of one song. Yeah, one shitty band. <laughs> yeah, we re ripped uh, to almost previous band, actually. Yeah. So cool. Like have... some, something old and something new. Yeah. And we just put those riffs together and Tuomo wrote the lyrics and then we had... It was maybe one of the fir first songs we made for Scars of Solitude. Yeah, it About was... two years back. Yeah, it was maybe the fifth song overall, but like it's the third oldest song on the album and like um we i wrote their lyrics and then me lassi and nikki were like demoing the vocals and i had like the idea for the verse and all the parts met pretty much but then lassi uh, came up with a better idea for the chorus, and that's why there's uh, Lassie's uh, vocal like uh, melody at the chorus. And it kind of grew at the studio, it was a lot more simple song, but it, we got a lot more layers to the guitars and stuff, and also added a solo and yeah. that kind of stuff. So. That's maybe the most interesting thing about that song. Yeah. Cool. What well, brought about the name of the track? I live to regret. Yeah. <laughs> like all my cho all the choices I do can be like regretful sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it, it's a the lyrics are maybe a little inspired by the Finnish band Sentenced. They do some shit at the, or I mean, did some shit at the similar theme, very suicidal and uh, <laughs> like depressed, which we love. <laughs> killing me, always... killing you. Yeah, pretty great band. I know, I know. I actually used to watch their DVD and I watched the entire thing about their last tour and I was like crying at the end, it was awful. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful, beautiful DVD. We we do some cover songs from Sentenced, like every gig. It's been a inspira inspirational. Fuck, I can't even talk. <laughs> inspirational band for that yeah. band we have. <laughs> All right. Now you guys mentioned, like for example, you were just jamming out on the acoustic guitar. Uh, brought in the riff, married it with some some older, older tunes. So this this sounds quite different from from Enemy. Uh, and I'm curious, is this entirely unique to maybe how you personally write? Just kind of like jamming out while watching TV, and then be like, oh hey, hold on a second, let me pause Oprah. This is awesome. This little riff that I've got. That's maybe the way Lassie writes. Yeah, I'm I mostly write songs like that. I just play. <laughs> Play at home. I have a guitar in my hands while, yeah, watching t TV or doing some other stuff. And when I play something that I like, then I repeat it and maybe polish it a little bit. And there you have a riff, or sometimes even whole songs form like that. Yeah. Also, the song "Drown" is. Uh, uh, has been like uh, written in a similar fashion. It's a song, a song 
from last to two, actually. Cool, cool. What exciting news do you guys have coming up for Rock Metal Nation to pay attention to? Well, our debut album is out first of uh, December. Might be out when this interview comes out. We also have the album release party on the same day we release the album, and we may have some gigs the beginning of next year with the band Asylum 8, which you might be familiar with also. Just chatted with those gents and their David Hasselhoff song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Cool stuff. All right, so Rock Metal Nation, there's a debut album that is already out. It's December 1st. By the time this episode has aired, the debut album is out. So the big question for you guys is where can Rock Metal Nation pick up this album or better yet, which website they should go to to stay in touch with you guys? You can get the album from the Inverse store. I think they ship worldwide as well as uh, Record Store X from Finland. They also ship worldwide. Uh, you can keep in touch with us from Facebook. We are really active there. And also, I'm, I'm learning Twitter right now. I'm not really good at it. <laughs> but that's where the news will be also. I think we will be rather active after the album comes out. We try to get as much gig, gigs as possible. And we also have a lot of new material, so it won't take many years when we have our next record. Very, very cool. All right, so Rock Foundation, if you dug the tracks that you heard here and you want to pick up the album, you go ahead and go to the Inverse Record Store, Records X uh, website. So you can definitely check that out. You can also go to today's show notes, www.therockmetalpodcast.ca, where you can go ahead and get the links to stay in touch with Scars of Solitude. They're definitely on Facebook, and they're going to be hitting it Twitter here soon. So if you want to go ahead and check out facebook.com slash scars of solitude or on twitter at scars of solitude they are ready and waiting to connect with you so guys unless there's anything else you'd like to throw out there i just wanted to thank you for taking time out of your day to come on to the rock metal podcast and share your creativity with rock metal nation thanks a lot thank you it was a pleasure Ride Rock Metal Nation. Hopefully, you just found your new favorite band in Scars of Solitude. Big thanks again to them for coming on and sharing their music with us. Make sure to head over to www.therockmetalpodcast.ca to get all the information on the show you just heard today. And until then, rock on, Rock Metal Nation. Can I eat a go?